So hello and welcome once again to a new tutorial. It's Ayla here. Today we'll go over modeling arc structures in RFM. And like in our last tutorial where we did get to know the model generator for automatically creating truss structures, we can also use it for creating arc structures. Of course, it's also possible to enter the data manually, but this would take a little bit more time, especially because of the curved geometry. So we will make use of the generator for the example in this video. First step will be defining a cross section plus a material. And this is nothing new. We go up to the project navigator and then with right click, we select new cross section. Let's say we choose an IPE 200 and steel as material. Next, we can find again on the tools, generate model members and then I generate arc. Then this new dialog allows us to enter all necessary parameters for creating various arc structures. In the first section, we can choose which type of arc we'd like to have. We can select a circle, parabola, hyperbola, or a catenary. For this example, let's say we'll select a parabola. And like in almost all new dialogues that we open up for creating any new model data, we have again a window on the right side with a great illustration that shows us what is meant by any parameter. And again, this is a great help for us during the modeling process. The next section requires the three base nodes, A, B, and C, that define the points in between the arc will be generated. Depending on the type of the arc, we can also determine an arc rise. What we will do for this example, to determine the nodes, we can do both. We can select an existing node or we can set new nodes by clicking on the symbol called create a new node. So the node A will be in the origin. For B, we will set the node here at 6 and 0. And C will be at 3 and minus 3. Next in the section below called members, we can set the number of members. And with the number of members, we can set how many members will be used to create the arc. So the more members we have, the more exact the arc will be at the end. Selecting 16 members will be exact enough to generate the arc. Next, we can select the member type. Um, we can keep that as the B member. And as a last step, we will assign the cross section that we've um, defined in the beginning. And with clicking OK, the arc structure will be generated what we can see in the graphical area now. Now that we have our arc structure, we need some supports. Again, a hinge one at the bottom here on this side and the second one will be able to slide along the X direction. In order to get some results, we will apply a point load at the top of 100 kilonewtons. So we enter as the load parameter in Z direction 100, click OK and choose the node at the top. And then we can click on calculate all so that the results like displacements are getting displayed. And this was our tutorial. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below or on our website lubal.com where you can find also a couple of more tutorials. And until next video, which will be about modeling and calculating cable structures.